three, two, one. Hi class, Mac Ingle here for the Fort Worth Star Telegram here at the American Airlines Center where tonight the Dallas Mavericks will play the Sacramento Kings. I am joined by veteran NBA Star Telegram beat writer and knower of all things basketball, Mr. Dwayne Price. Dwayne has covered the NBA since 1853. <laughs> uh, Dwayne tonight, Rajon Rondo comes back to play the Mavs, the team that he screwed and literally quit on and in the playoffs. Dwayne, I gotta ask you, Mavs had two big acquisitions, one during the season last year when they traded for Rondo from the Celtics, mm -hmm. and one that kind of happened in the summer when they got DeAndre Jordan. Right. Neither is here. Of those two, which player screwed the Mavs more, DeAndre Jordan or Rajon Rondo? I would say DeAndre because at least uh, when Rondo, out of the Rondo trade, they got Dwight Powell. Dwight Powell has been very good for the Mavericks this season. We didn't see a lot of things that he's been able to do coming the Mavs way. As for DeAndre, he held up the Mavericks for like five days. They couldn't do anything, not knowing if this guy's going to come or if he's going to leave and all that. And as it turned out, obviously that, that he left. So meanwhile, some other free agents that the Mavs probably could have gotten during that period of time escaped them and went to other places. So I would say it's DeAndre Jordan. Okay, now when you covered Rondo here, why didn't he fit with this team and why was he such a complete and total disaster with the Mavs? Because he wants to call his own play. And Rick called, I was not going to let him call his own play. Rick got plays he wants to call. He's a coach and he should be able to call his own. Uh, the coach should be able to call what plays he wants to call. Whereas in Sacramento and perhaps in Boston too, call out, I mean, uh, Rondo had more control over the offense as, as far as what plays he wants to call. It didn't happen here on the Rick call out. Okay, last thing. The Mavs know that they are a better team without Rajon Rondo. They did sign Zaza Pachulia, right. who's averaging a double-double after DeAndre Jordan screwed them. Right. Are they a better team without DeAndre Jordan? I think so. I, no way. No, because I never wanted DeAndre because he doesn't have any low post moves. Don't Who him? cares? No, you got to care. But he can <laughs> guard the rim. Who can guard the rim? You? No. They don't need, <clears throat> excuse me. They don't need that many people to guard the rim the way he guards the rim if he's not going to be able to do anything else because you go get into a situation where if, uh, late in the game, it's close, they're going to foul DeAndre. He can't shoot free throws, so he's not going to be able to be on the court. You're going to have to take him out of the game of a close game because he's going to hurt you on the offensive end of the floor. So all that, all that, whatever he does on the defensive end is going to be negated because he can't do anything on the offensive end. All right, good riddance, Rajon. We hate your guts. We hate you too, DeAndre. <laughs> I like you, Rondo. <laughs>